Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we are continuing with Hellblade Senua Sacrifice this, this is the first time I say the name of the title of the game and Oh, okay we're jumping into the fight, that's quick Shit God's made you a warrior for a reason. It's your fault. Come on! Beat him up, beat him up! Okay, yep. Man, the soundtrack is amazing! Oh, come on. That's it. Okay, then. I thought it was more to it. Every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. Oh, what the hell? It's a huge ass uh, X. What's that? X? Is, is it an X? Yeah, it is. I guess they'll fight. Thank you. Okay, ooh. I did it. This place looks like distorted thing. Yeah, it is. 
Okay, I think that's that's it so for the another puzzle. The upcoming puzzle. Yep. Just like I thought. Okay, so now we gotta find just gotta find Oh, that's so easy. Look at that. The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets, and you will find yours. Okay, 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 okay. It's an X, an X is supposed to be easy if it is correctly aligned. down Yeah, I can't land that shit. See? This is supposed to be a line. Okay, 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 I'm just gonna find. We're just gonna look around over here. Something. Oh, that, that's the first something over here. It won't budge. Whoa! However, you come to the gold covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name, she will ask your lineage. She will ask. The Northmen. Hell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join and what is the by the giantess. So that's supposed to be the new puzzle. I feel like quantum break. No, 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 it's supposed to be easy. Not here. Yes, here. Okay, one down. Another one to go. Okay then. Can I just go down with you? Okay, I cannot. So I gotta follow the stairs, just like before. Controlling uh, Senua is just like controlling a brick. She's heavy. Not 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 like a uh, weight wise. The the controlling wise. What are you doing? You're showing weakness. 
You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Get up. Get up, Senua. Get up. Pick up Get up, the Senua. Sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight yes, it. Come on, get up, Senua. Senua. Come on, get up. Get up. Get up yeah, good fight. girl. Good girl. Oh no. The spot broke. Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts and fears. As seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake? And we only see what our inner eye creates for us. The subtitle is faster than the eyes. voice. Well, oh, the voice is much lower than the subtitle. Hmm. Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Curse. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's a curse. The shadow. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there is no one left to do that for you. What's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just Do like it. your Don't sword. Do it. Come on. There. <laughs> what in the fuck am I playing? Why go this on? is twisted. What the hell? And you give everything and face that which torments you. Only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Oh, the curse is worse. It's worse than... Really, so we Look at it. This. Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory. A feeling. This game is just like someone is on rehab or something, fighting his own demons. The voice acting are good. Come to me. Please. The light. Go towards the light. It's him. There he is. It can't be him. It's just a trick. It's in your mind. It's in your mind. It's in your mind. It's real. Explore, but exploring with this kind of sign war is kind of god damn. Okay, I'm just gonna go down here first. Maybe some runes or rocks that we can focus on. Oh, 
Oh, maybe not. Okay. Okay, white space of nothing. Okay. Gotcha. What the hell? Okay. Anyway. I feel sorry for you. One top girl, man. One top girl. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's in bell made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren and lonely. to explore maybe some find some kind of rune but there's nothing this game has a vast open space of exploration but there's nothing it's just non interactable things so now there's two ways one on top with the light and over there goes under some kind of cave so let's go over here shall we because there's light over there the progression is over there ah now there's something Senua, there will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted like strange little fish swimming against the tides of the big ocean but have the faith to let go and let the tide carry you away what kind of message is that? the whole ocean is your home it does not ask you to swim against it Now we found one. That's cool. It's already disappeared. Nothing lives here, not even you. It's in your mind. You think you can see it? It's in your mind. There he was. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whoever can it. Many try, but the sword comes out and sickens touch. His brother, King Sigurd, 
wants him. But Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast. But when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Be up here or down there? Let's try up here first. Shit, the frame rates, what the fuck? Oh, it's over there, okay. Sorry, senor. So we are over here also? Okay. Didn't know. So anyway, may I ask, when was the last time you bathed? You're dirty. You should be cleansed. Is this, is this the, the same one or not? Death for Sigmund and his brother seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy, and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. Don't tell me this is empty, don't tell me this, this place has nothing okay. No runes, nothing. Chains break, and he is free. After his escape, 
Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. Hmm. Sigmund. What's your name? Senna. I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. No one? Well, I I watched you. And you learned all of that from watching me. <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dilly. I'm here for the warrior trials. Come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness. I just want to know what happened here. Well, what happened Hallelujah. to the world? So dark, so grimy. Everybody dies. Everybody's dead. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Oh, this is Helheim, I guess. Wait, is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. L the last episode we entered Helheim. Is that you? I'll find you. I I'm not gonna go over there yet. I'm just gonna look around over Nothing here and see. Ah, see, there. there's a rune. There's a rune. Oh, over there, there's a rune. Two. No, this is not a rune. Oh, it's a track. God damn, I thought it was a rune. Okay, this one. This one's gotta be a rune. Oh, yo, is it a trick as well? It's a fucking trick. Oh, it's a rune. Yeah, thank you. Sigmund's sister 
trade ships with the sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfiotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy and finds him strong and fearless, and so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured, and Sigir has them buried. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's Right now I'm just trying to look for uh, the, the rooms. I don't care what the rooms, the Sigmund story right now. Because uh, I will play this game again because I will try to find because I, w I want to find all the 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 how the hell you have I want to go over there because I want to find the the runes the I want to find all the runes So do I have to go back? Because I saw a board But it cannot be activated yet so Yeah maybe it's sequential It's not select Well the, the terms Sequential and Selectual no it's not, it's not selectual What is the term? Okay this is the The one that I got Oh, this is not the port. Okay, maybe I have to go through. And I will find the another board over there. Over into under the tree. What? Eh. Because there's no way in Fox I have I'm able to walk across that. I don't think that there's a rune. Is that a rune? That's not a rune. But I think that's a rune. Okay, that's not a rune, I think. Okay, maybe this place. I don't. Doesn't have a rune anymore. I have to go through this. the Sigmund sword Sigmund Sword. Its name is Gramr. It was forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need this sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said a great warrior can reforge Gramr. This is going to be a long episode. One for each shard. The roots of the tree of death will take you to new lands where you will face the trap. Go to the shard. Go to the shard. What's the shard? Find it. It's the metal rune stones. Yeah, I know, I know. Shut up. king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust 
and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary, inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, okay, there's the way. then comes the reckoning. They want to go down there first Because maybe there are rooms over there I'm trying to collect rooms Any runes at all? Yeah, there is. No, I get closer. Senua, oh, I skipped. Oh you shit! Of the story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. I skipped when she one. Where her God damn buried, it. Her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Okay, first trial, come on. Now it became outlast. How do I know it's intractable? Because I play a lot of games. Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. Wait, what? She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through. Oh shit, now it's Death. becoming. Ah, god damn it! And now, and now it, it's becoming the layer of years.
Herever calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave minds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. Okay, now it's becoming... The voice is becoming more louder so that that is meant by I'm going the right way so I don't want to go the right way yet I want to explore maybe find some runes Okay, that room is different. <laughs> Where are we? She has no idea. We're going round and see. You have fallen in. You think that sound is Dillian's voice? It's true. <laughs> you. Okay, that place automat automatically lights up, so I'm guessing this way is the right way. And there's no torch. Okay then. Wait, what the fuck? Herver ignores her father's warnings. The grave mind opens, oh. and it seems to be full of fire. Again, Herver demands her inheritance, but her father warns her the sword is cursed and would be the bane of her family. But he relents and brings her the sword. She leaves the island with it, but the curse holds true, and death would follow in the years to come. And so... Senua, the misdeeds of a father have cursed his daughter. I swear the voice is coming from over here. <gasps> T 
Chill, Sandy, want chill. I got you. I got you. Maybe. Okay, it was getting louder. Oh, so it's over there. Okay. Yes, anyway. He wants me to find him. I'm lost without him. I mean, the, ref the fire reflection is so beautiful. That voice. It's not there yet. Go the other way first. I'm so confused. The red room, but the burning room. Woo, that took a long time. In your, darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? Chief, no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. 
You will have blood on your hands! Woo! One test done. Oh, this is the hardest final exams that I have been... Uh, that I've said. Oh, shit. I know there's more. Shut up. Yeah. God damn it, where's the last one? I just wanna know where's the last one. Yeah, it charge out through the water. Okay. Still cannot found it. Find the last one. It's the last one is not is inaccessible at this time around. Is that it? Okay, uh, people. I think I will leave this episode right here because this took a long way, a long time than I expected. Because uh, I want to get you know go through full gameplay. I don't want to cut short I don't want to make this feels like incomplete episode so there you go it's a complete episode with where we fought no yeah we fought some things and then we solved some puzzles and then that this is it thank you for watching and playing this game if you like this video hit the like button if you like my channel hit the subscribe button I'm smirk guy and I will see you dudes in the next video dudes now fuck off